So a couple months ago, I went to a beauty vending machine at my local mall, Opry Mills, if you guys are in Nashville. And I think it's such a cool idea. They had press-ons, lashes, and a few other beauty items. I don't remember, but I thought it was a cool idea and you guys did too. So I wanted to go back to the mall, to the beauty vending machine and get some more press-ons so we can check them out and see how they are. Loves you. Mm -hmm. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we at the mall. About to go see about these press ons. If I could get out the car, it's a tight parking lot. Oh, I'm about to forget my purse. <laughs> I'll be real. Oh, it's hot. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where I'm going so I don't get hit. Unfortunately, the Motor City Lashes vending machine is no longer at the mall. Oh, we walked through the mall and was like, where is it? <laughs> where did it go? But I totally get it. Like in business, like if things aren't just going the right way, if it's not making money, it's not making sense. And I'm, you know, they had to move it out. So I feel for them. So these are the only press-ons that I have are the ones that I bought three months ago. So we're gonna go ahead and check these out and see how they are. But first I need to take these nails off. So these are my aquarium nails that I did a couple days ago. As you can see, the pink starfish has tinted all the oil in this nail. <laughs> the dye came all the way off, but it still has some nice movement. The index finger, I think it has a slow leak because this bubble kept getting bigger and bigger as the days went by. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take these off. They were fun, but you know. Fun nails aren't meant to last. So I'm gonna show y'all just real quick how I take these off. Nothing special, just go ahead and cut. You probably gonna have to try. All right, got that. It's gonna be a little messy, not too bad. Okay, not too bad. So we got that one off. It still looks cool, even if it's broken off. All right, and then this one. <laughs> there we go. And then I just snip it on both ends. Okay. Since it's a gel tip, it's gonna be a little more squishier. Ooh, 
they're cute coming off though. And I also try not to like go too far down because I don't want to hurt my skin underneath my nail. And you need, <laughs> you need some strength. All right. This one didn't quite move as much because it wasn't that much room. Oh, but it's like making a scene here. A nautical under the sea scene. But yeah, people always ask me, how do you take these off? The same way that I do all of my nails. Nip them off. Okay, yeah, that one. I don't know, it must have been a slow leak because that, that air bubble. <laughs> I was like, I did not leave that much air. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go too far down on this one. You see like it's a little squishy. There we go. Oh, I got some oil out on that one. All right, and yeah. And there we go. We are all clipped down. If it's open enough, I just try to nip the top uh, tip off as well. And just so I have less to file. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we got all of the top of the tip, except for this one. I couldn't really get that off, so we'll just let the acetone do the work. But yeah, everything else is clipped down. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these as well. I know I said I wanted to keep them on for a couple weeks, but this bead over here broke, and usually when like stuff starts breaking off my nails, I'm just like, I wanna take them off. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do today. And that's the same way, just snip it off. And then we cut that. <laughs> All right. All right, I don't think I have to do too much, but we just go ahead and file to break the seal. All right, so I went ahead and filed all the nails down and now I'm gonna take my acetone and cotton rounds and we're gonna soak off the nails. I just like to cut these in half. And take a little acetone. like so so i just continue to wrap these up i usually let this sit for about 10 15 minutes i know a lot of people be like you use a lot of aluminum foil but i mean i don't like to sit still while i'm soaking my nails off like i feel like i can just you know when i do it like this i can get up and do stuff <laughs> if i have to i could go to the bathroom um so yeah that's the reason why i do it like this you know these are my nails. If you don't want to do it like this, you don't have to. <laughs> but I've been doing this for years and it works for me. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So let's see what we got. I didn't, I just filed down, you know, as thin as possible for this one. But I really wanted to get all this blue gel up. That's what we're going to do. Okay, majority of this is up. I'm going to just put it back on just to see if we can get some of that blue. <laughs> around the cuticles up but y'all this is how I take my nails off majority of the time <laughs> if I'm feeling very lazy I'll just file it off but you have to be um you have to be very careful when you do that so for the most part that's I just like to soak them in acetone and let it flake off as you can see though it all comes off very easily. 
All right, so now I'm just going to lightly buff the nails just to get any other residue off. It looks like majority of it has come off though. You got a little bit of blue. I might have to get a file to get that off. Blue is really hard to come off like once it's like around your cuticle and stuff. You just gotta let time, <laughs> time help you with that. Um, let me try to just see if I can file it. I really don't, okay, that got it off. Yeah, just anywhere where there's like blue residue. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly file that. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol and just gonna wipe the nails. Trying to get any residue, oils, dust. <laughs> just trying to get everything off. So we can be prepped for our press-ons. All right, so I'm going back to my reel to see if I can find them and see what happened. Um, so yeah, as y'all can see this, it's a beauty vending machine. <laughs> um, but let's see, Motor City Lashes. Um, okay, Instagram's still here. Oh, but the last post, that was pinned. Yeah, last post was 19 weeks ago and they were talking about the vending machine. Uh, let's click on the website. Oh, they may have gone out of business. Oh, that sucks. Well, if any of y'all wanna go in with me on a beauty vending machine, come on, let's do it. <laughs> but anyway, here are the press-ons. And I just wanna talk about this case. I think this was like really cute to put inside the vending machine, you know. They're press-ons, but it kinda makes you feel like, ooh, special. All right, so it has this little tape on it. Let's see if I can get that. Trying not to scratch the box. But yeah, these were the ones that I picked. I remember seeing a comment on my short and somebody was like, I didn't know people had seven fingers. <laughs> and the rest of them are like stuck inside of here. You know, that's really good. But yeah, you can tell they had to think about it being in a vending machine and like not rustling up the press-ons and stuff. I really hope they like not gone gone. Maybe they moved it, I don't know. I'm keeping them in my prayers. All right, so in this, okay, so it's not only the press ones, you get a little prepping kit, you get a little emery board, and then your sticky tabs and manicure stick. All right, I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure if these were gonna fit me, but it looks like they are. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's too big. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even realize some of them. Yes, I did. <laughs> of course, there's rhinestones. All right, that one fits good. Can I see what size? Okay, it's a one. All right, um, that's another thing when you worry about like, like especially like the press-ons that I get from like five below, they run really small. So these fit good. Excuse my ashy hands, y'all. All right, so that one works. Okay, so how many come in here? All right, so I just counted and there's 22 nail tips. Not sure about the sizings and all, but it seems like it comes with a good amount. Okay, that fits. It looks like these are probably my usual sizes. There's a lot of size fives in this kit. Where is the six? Okay, I finally found the six. All right, so the pinky is an eight. All right, I'm not sure. How was this in here? <laughs> Trying to put everything back neatly. All right, I'll be trying to put everything back neatly, but sometimes it don't work out like that. <laughs> but I think I got it this time. Okay, so something like that. So here are my sizes. These are cute. I really do like the shape. Well, let's use the cuticle pusher. To lightly push the cuticles back. And there's just a little bit of residue from that blue gel polish, y'all. No matter how careful <laughs> I try to be, when it's those dark colors, they really stain. Okay, so we're just gonna measure these out and put them on. I'm using the tabs because these are cute and I want to keep them, so 
We're just gonna use the sticky tabs. So one more thing I thought about before putting these on is just to make sure it fits around the cuticle area. So that one fits good. I think it was a couple of these that I need to file. The file that comes with it, I'm, you know, if you work it hard enough, it can do it. But I'm just gonna use this so it could be a little faster. Okay, yeah, that cuticle was just a little more square than what it needed to be. But this is with any like press on or gel X do. Always file the cuticle area to match the shape of your nail. That is what's gonna make it look the most natural. Okay, these uh, press ons are pretty sturdy. They don't feel flimsy or anything. I wouldn't say the quality is bad. I think I paid twelve dollars for these. I have to look at the footage, but I think it I think they were twelve dollars. Okay, and let's check the thumb. Just a little bit. Don't wanna file too much. Cause once it's gone, it's gone. Alright, so now we just stick them on. I'm gonna peel off the little plastic and hold my nail out straight and just press down. I really appreciate press ons because there's not always time to do your nails. <laughs> nails take time to do. And if you got somewhere to be and you just want to be cute for a couple hours or a couple days, um, press ons is where it's at. Especially if you glue them on, they last like forever. But these are just going to be a little temporary. Okay, I probably could have filed this a little bit more. It's on there now. <laughs> But yeah, my press on nail collection has really grown. <laughs> I have so many options for when I just want quick nails. This is easy shape. Okay, yeah, some of these cuticles, you know, <laughs> they do look a little press on-y, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, these, I don't know. I think I like them better in the tray. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if cuticle oil will make me feel better about them. I'm not trying to like sop it into the the little sticky tab yet. Even though a little bit might get in there, but it's all right. <laughs> okay, these ain't really hitting like I thought they was gonna hit. You know what this reminds me of? Those little kitty press on fingers that like, you know, used to get from like the dollar store. It reminds me of those nails. Like it had like the little peach nail with the little pink fingernail and you kind of just slip it on your fingers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This color is giving that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, moving along. Since I wasn't able to buy more press-ons from the Beauty Fitting Machine, I decided that this would be a good opportunity to show you guys more press-ons from a small business. So these press-ons were sent to me from Jasmine Sky. She has a press-on business. And this is her Instagram account. Let's go to her Etsy store. So it's Official Nail Junkie. And, oh, wait a minute. Okay, now I don't wanna use the app. <laughs> All right, she out here doing her thing. We got the bling nails, come on, come on. Okay, those are cute. Okay, we got the, we got the fruit nails going on. Those are cute. Okay, so as you guys can see, she has like a variety of nail styles and everything like that. And the prices are pretty reasonable. All right, so yeah, official nail junkies. So here's my package. Yes, this is my address, but this is my business address. So, you know, if you wanna send me something, I can't guarantee that it'll make it into a video, but I'll appreciate it. Oh, okay, that's cute. <laughs> she did some Sailor Moon nails for me, okay. All right, and then she includes the kit, the prep kit and everything for you. Um, Let's see what else comes in here. Oh. Um, Oh, I have a little note. Let me read it. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. It's just a personal message, but she just said she considered everything that I like as far as pink and coffin and the uh, length between um, large and extra large. And it was sweet. 
Um, but yeah, I can't remember. Let me check my DMs. I think she did ask me for my sizes. Okay, so yeah, she did ask me about my usual nail size. I just told her my usual nail size. So that's how she was able to, you know, have my sizes. <laughs> but oh my goodness, these are cute. Let me get them out. Ooh, the art. Oh, and then this is the other hand. Oh man. Okay, and then in the note, she did tell me that the writing says Sailor Moon. I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really know my kanji and my katakana, so there we go. So this time, I'm gonna see which ones actually work for my hand. I mean, I think they all would. Mm, which ones do I wanna use? Okay, I think, I think I like this one. I like this one, okay. Oh, I didn't even peep that. Okay, so we got extra nails on the back of this one. She's really good with her drawing as well. I wish I was that good. I need to practice. <laughs> All right, so since I have my Sailor Moon dress on today, I think this would be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these on. I'm not gonna glue them on. I want to save these especially. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these tabs. I mean, they're pretty universal. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these on here as well. All right, got all my sticky tabs on. And we're just gonna go ahead and put these on. Peeling off the plastic. Carefully peeling this off. And just pressing this on. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this has a way more custom fit than the vending machine nails. <laughs> that double-sided tape be sticky, y'all. <laughs> it holds them in place. Okay, so then we're just gonna go ahead and press that down. And now for our Usagi nail. Well, she's in transformation mode on this, so she's Sailor Moon. <laughs> Ooh, I love these so much. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> my style. She definitely nailed it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, and then the last one. All right, and then this one. Oh yeah, these, these fit perfectly. <laughs> I guess I do know my sizes. <laughs> All right, these are really, really cute. I love it. Oh my God, Jasmine, you did a really, really good job. Thank you. Okay, so and finally, we're gonna put some cuticle oil on my left hand. Just a little teach. Okay. Okay, so here's my little press on haul. <laughs> I really like the idea of having a beauty vending machine. It kind of sucks that they either went out of business or moved the machine or I don't know, but I hope everything works out for Mortar City Lashes. And Jasmine is doing her thing with press-ons. They are affordable and she does really good art. So definitely check her out. I'll leave her link down below. So if y'all wanna see me try more press-ons, check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.